It's coming a live look at the Minneapolis skyline this morning. The Twins will return to Target Field on Thursday for their home opener against the Astros. Before that, they are battling it out tonight in Miami against the Marlins. While there have been a lot of moving pieces for the Twins over the last few years, there is one constant for the team off the field. That is the voice of your Minnesota Twins, Dick Bramer. He's been doing the play by play for 40 years now. And he joins us now live from Miami this morning. Congrats on the uh, milestone, Dick, and good morning to you. Well, good morning to you, too, Tom. You say that, and it just doesn't seem possible that right. it's been 40 years. Uh, the time has gone by so quickly. I can still remember my first Twins opener back in 1983. And Brad Havens gave up six runs in the top of the first inning. The game was over with before uh, the Twins even got in the dugout. They lost 11-3. to But I remember thinking, man, that was fun. I hope I can do this for a while. And now we're getting close to 5,000 telecasts. So I guess my wish came, uh, came true. Hashtag blessed is what that is. After, yeah. after 40 years of calling baseball, does, does the excitement that swirls at the beginning of the season, does it ever get old? It really doesn't, and in fact, it probably waxes rather than wanes. I find myself uh, even more eager now for a season opener, the start of a season, than I did years ago. Part of that, I think, is because I really believe this Twins team is going to be a good team this year, and uh, so I was itching to go well before the spring training started down in Fort Myers, and now here we are uh, off to a good start at 3-0. and No question about that. And besides the World Series championships, you look back at 87-91, what's one of your favorite moments calling the games for the Twins? Does something kind of resonate in your, in your memory bank? Well, there are a lot of uh, wonderful finishes to Twins games. I, I think one that really stands out is uh, uh, the one, uh, the first walk-off hit at Target Field. Jim Tomey turned a loss into a win. Uh, with an extra inning home run. Um, you'll always remember your first games, of course, if you're in this business. But I will tell you that one of the things I'm proudest of just happened a few years ago when uh, with COVID and the shutdown across the board, just about every walk mm -hmm. of life was impacted. We were watching old baseball games, night after night, old hockey games, whatever. And that uh, my industry was able to get those games out on television in 2020 only 60 games on the schedule, but everybody had to adjust. The producers had to adjust, mm -hmm. the directors, the announcers, the players. Uh, that we were able to do that is something I'm really, really proud of. And I don't mean me personally. I mean as an industry, I really believe that our society needed to get some live yeah. sports action on TV again. And we were able to do that. And even though it was not easy and it took adjustments on everyone's part, that's something I will always be very proud of. Absolutely. Uh, and tell us if you have any overall predictions for this season. As you mentioned, this is a team a lot of us think will be going places. Yeah, they're a deeper team than I think we've seen in recent years. We saw that in play in the series in Kansas City. Uh, bench players contributing. I think the Twins have a really good bullpen, and that will serve them well this year. The starting rotation, I think, is going to be one of the strengths of the team. I really believe this team is going to be one of the better teams in the American League. We'll find out quickly because when we get home, we'll get a lot of the Astros and the Yankees and teams like that. But so far, things are off to a really, really good start, and it's been fun to be a part of it. Uh, Dick, it's been great listening to you all these years, and we wish you all the best this season. Thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, stop by the booth sometime. Be nice to say hi to you. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'll be there on uh, the home opener Thursday. Maybe we'll stop by then. Thank you, Dick. Sounds good. You bet. Dick Bramer, the voice of the Twins, and just uh, one of the great voices. Appreciate it. Uh, before the Twins' home opener on Thursday, Fox 9 has all of your bases covered on pregame festivities. We'll have crews all morning long for breakfast on the plaza. First pitch for the game against the Houston Astros set for just after 3 o'clock on Thursday.